Entrepreneurship is a journey and one of the hardest jobs in the world. That's why if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you must master the art of organization, productivity, and time management to keep you motivated. This is where the organized entrepreneur comes in. For the organized entrepreneur, you get the right tips, the right tools, and the right resources to help you simplify your life so that you can organize your business with ease. about tips to organize your business for success. Hello everyone, my name is Aldrima Harper, Certified Organizational Specialist at Organizepreneur.com. And so what I want to share with you today is how you can get rid of clutter and organize your home office or your office or your workspace or any space for that matter and create something that's conducive for creativity and productivity, right? So today I want to share a five-step process to organize anything, your home, your workspace, your closet, your kitchen. And this is a great way, what I'm going to share with you is a great way to remember those five, five steps in the organization process, in the organizing process. Me and a pack is for cash in. This is where you go through the trash stuff, right, and break it down, or the treasure stuff and break it down even more, right? Because your treasure, or excuse me, let me say that differently. So in this step, the cash in, this is where you're going to go through the trash right, and break it down even more, deciding what can be donated, what can be sold, what can be taken to the dumpster because it's absolute trash, okay? So those are the categories um, that you're going to have when you have trash and treasure, right? But you have to determine what those are, okay? So this is the cash in step or the cash in or Cash. <laughs> and I can't tell you how many times I have helped clients to find checks, to find money, you know, because a lot of the clients that I work with, we're working, you know, in their office and things like that. And so a lot of times that's what they find. So they're able to cash in. Not only that, you may have items that you want to repurpose or you want to sell. Okay. So there's a lot of ways that you can can categorize this even further, right? So you have your two categories. One is trash, one is treasure. If you have trash, then in those subcategories, you could have um, taking it to the dumpster, you know, depending on what you're organizing, it can go to the dumpster, or it could be something that you're going to, uh, if it's paperwork, it could be something that you need to shred, right? So also, again, if it's treasure, it's going to be something you're going to keep, right, in your house, in your office, in your closet, right? But it could go into another space. And all I'm saying is this. In this particular category, you're going to find items that perhaps you can repurpose, resell, and make money on. You may find money in this particular process. But the reason that you don't want to throw it out is because there is a possibility that that may exist in this pile, okay? So hopefully that is making sense, okay? All right, let's move on to the T. The T in APAC is tidy up. Now it's time to tidy up and get organized. And this is where a lot of people kind of start here first and they forget about the previous steps, right? Because when you start any organizing project, if you start by um, organizing and sorting while, before you declutter, then you're going to get stuck. I promise you it happens all the time because your mind is trying to sort at the same time that you are trying to organize, right? 
But here's the thing. Here is the key. The key to all of this is to make sure that you go back and do the first four steps first before you get to the organizing part, right? And you won't get stuck because now you're working with the items that you know is going to remain in the space, that's going to remain in the closet, that's going to remain in your office. And so you are working with the stuff that's left. That's what you're going to organize. You don't want to organize the stuff that you're going to be getting rid of other than the fact that it's going to have those main categories of, you know, donating or, um, you know, taking it to the dumpster or trash or shred or what have you, right? So you don't want to go through another sort, but you must go through these five steps before you get to the organizing part. So you want to make a pact, right? You want to ask, you want to pile, you want to analyze, you want to cash in, and then you want to tidy up. So there you go. There you go. 